Hey everyone, welcome to Custom Spray Mods. Now today, I'm going to pimp my headlights. I'm going to put some demon eyes on them and paint them up, make them look awesome. I'm going to go through in this video how to do it step by step diet. So first I need to get the headlights off the car and then I can get to work. Let's do it. Now it's time to remove the bumper bar. I normally just use a little screwdriver, unclip the clips, and then, um, yeah, get someone to help me pull it off. Uh, there's a few videos online already on how to remove a bumper bar from your car, so yeah, look them up, and uh, yeah, it's not hard, so get into it. Now you can easily access the headlights. Remove whatever bolts you need to, to get the headlights off. Unclip them from the back and take them completely off the car. Now, if you have an oven, you can uh, preheat it to 100 degrees Celsius. While you're waiting for the oven to preheat, you can remove any brackets that are attached to the headlight. Also, remove the screws that are holding the lens cover on. That way, when it comes out of the oven, you can easily remove that lens cover. Do the headlights one at a time. Place the first one in the oven and leave it for about 10 minutes. This is going to melt the sealer around the lens and make it easy to remove. After 10 minutes, you can take the headlight out of the oven and start disassembling it. Be careful, it's hot. Using a screwdriver, you can start at the clips. Undo these clips first, then you can start removing the lens. If you have a prior tool, you can use that as well, it makes it easier. But be careful, because the headlight is still a bit hot. The sealer will stay tacky for about five minutes. So you've got a little bit of time to work with. Once you've separated the lens from the body, be careful of that sealer. It's still tacky, it can be hot, it can go on the inside of your lens and um, it can be hard to remove. So be careful of that sealer. I'm going to take this chrome bit off. So I'm going to paint that something awesome. Now I'm going to remove the parts that I want to paint. Taking them off the body will just make it a lot easier to paint. Now to install the Demon Eye LED unit, I need to get to the back of this headlight area, so I'm going to unscrew it and release it from the body, then it'll be a bit easier to work on at the back of the light. This little unit is basically your demon eye output. All it is is a little red or different coloured LED and that shines up, reflects on this uh, bulb at the front and you get your, your coloured light. So you have to attach that to this um, headlight unit. If you look in there, you can see there's already two holes that should match up to the bracket. So all you need to do is pop your bracket on there, those two blank holes, screw it on, and um, you're done. Uh, getting uh, the light in the right area can be difficult, but nothing really is easy, so let's do it. Now, this is the bracket. To get my light to shine in the right spot, I use one of these long screws. And then this little spacer. You can get it from any kind of auto store. It's just like a clip type fitting. And that's going to give put my light in the right spot. 
There you go. Okay, so here is the headlight basically in pieces. You've got the lens cover, um, this bit here which goes around the um, high bit, uh, the headlight area, um, and this frame. You've got your blinker, indicator, and um, parking lights. And then you've got the main body with all the electronics on it and the plastic housing. So we're going to paint a few things. I'm going to paint the inside of this. I'm going to paint that chrome bit. I'm going to paint this. And I'm going to paint that as well. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to paint this whole bit with my special color, which is the uh, charcoal metallic pearl. And uh, yeah, so first I need to scuff it all with gray scotch right, spray some adhesion promoter, then put my base coat and my clear coat. I'm going to do that now. As this part is plastic, we treat it like painting plastic, so you need to scuff it with grey scotch Bright and spray an adhesion promoter. scotch Bright just scuffs it up, makes it so your paint sticks a lot better. Before applying the primer, it's important to clean the parts with wax and grease remover and then wipe them clean. So I've gone over to VG Auto Paints and then put my custom colour into a spray can. This is just going to make it a bit easier. So, something's in a can, it's easy to do at home, it's quick, you don't need to clean up your gun, and you can still get a good finish. Okay, so I've sprayed the adhesion promoter, I've sprayed two coats, I let it dry for about 20 minutes. Now I'm ready for my base coat. I've got some black base coat pumped in from VG Auto Paints. They can mix up any colour you want. That's my colour, I'm going to spray it on now. Spray three to four coats of the base coat and wait 10 minutes between coats. Then 10 minutes later, you're ready for the next step. 10 minutes after your last coat of base, you can spray the clear coat. Spray three to four coats and wait 10 minutes between coats. Okay, now I'm ready to paint the chrome parts of the headlight. I've mastered all up, now I'm going to spray with some adhesion promoter, then I'll be ready for my next step. First, adhesion. Promotion. Now I'm going to spray a candy apple red from a spray can that I got from VG Auto Paints. You can spray this over silver or any other colour. I'm spraying it over chrome, so I'm going to get that anodized look. Just spray three to four coats, wait 10 minutes between coats. Finally, spray a clear coat over the parts. Three coats, 10 minutes between coats, and you're done. I've let the parts dry overnight, now I'm going to attach them back to the headlight and I can start screwing it all together. Okay, you can see there is the LED, that little unit there, and it's attached to that bracket at the back, which you can just see, there's the bracket, that's it's screwed straight into the back of this unit. and. When you light it up, it looks like this. Okay. So you can see that LED lights up this bulb and um, that's all hidden when you put the cap on and it gives you an awesome red devil eye in your headlights. Simple. Okay, I'm at the back of the headlights now. I'm just gonna drill a hole to feed my cable through. Once you've fed your cable through the hole, just put a bit of sealer on there just to stop any water getting into your headlights. 
Okay, so I've painted the uh, inner part of the headlight. I've attached it back to the lens. I've painted the inside of my chrome bits here around the headlight surround and the blinker and parking lights. I've attached them all back to the body of the headlight. Now I'm going to put the headlight cover back onto the actual um, housing here. I'm going to put some extra sealant. I'm going to use some windscreen sealer. Basically what they use to uh, seal this off. Before I do that, I'm going to heat it up again. You can put it in the oven again and melt it and then attach it straight up. Um, so I'm going to get an issue with the oven, so I'm going to use a heat gun. You can use this to remove the lens as well. Uh, basically exactly the same method. Heat it up while it's still uh, nice and tacky. Attach it back together and that'll create a seal. So yeah. While the sealer is still a bit tacky, screw on the five screws around the headlights around that attaches the lens onto the body. Now it's time to attach your demon eyes to a power source. So I'm going to use the fog lights so that when they come on, the demon eyes will come on as well. You can create your own switch or um, do it another way, but this is just an easy way to power up your demon eyes. Okay, now before we put the light back in, just test everything, make sure it's all working. Because once you get the bump bar on, you really can't get the light off. So make sure it's all uh, working fine before you actually put it together. Then you can attach the lights back to the car and fit up your bumper and you're all done. Well, there you go. I uh, customised my headlights. I uh, put them in the oven, separated the lens from the body and started painting the inside bits chrome and I put that LED under the, um, the main headlight there and that gives that red look on the round bit in the middle. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Just a matter of uh, taking the time to uh, go through all the steps. But once I, once I got that down, then it was easy. So yeah, got this video now so you can check it out and um, pull your headlights apart, make them look awesome. Uh, for the fog lights, uh, they were glass, so I didn't paint them. I uh, just uh, put a vinyl translucent red sticker on top, and that gives that effect, which actually worked pretty good. So, yeah. Um, what do you think? Tell me what you think. Check out the um, comments. Uh, you know, how long do you think till I get busted by the cops? You know, subscribe to my Facebook, and I'll keep you updated on, um, on how it goes. So, yeah. Otherwise, check out my Instagram as well, and my website. And um, yeah, until next time, that was Custom Spray Mods. See you later.